Hey guys, this is Will here from RiffRev. So what I'm going to be talking about today is about energy systems. So it's going to be talking about ways of preventing from hitting the wall and try to respire uh, as efficiently as possible. So energy systems, what exactly are they? Well, the most common things you've probably heard in, in line with uh, energy systems and cell respiration is aerobic and anaerobic functioning. So they're probably the terms that you hear the most commonly. Aerobic is when you produce uh, energy sources, for example, ATP or adenosine triphosphate as it's also known, with the presence of oxygen. Anaerobic, however, is when you produce that source with the absence of oxygen. And that's the, it's the sort of thing such as 100 meters or 200 meters that would be considered as an anaerobic activity. However, if you're going a further distance, it's really important that you remain in an aerobic functioning state. The reason why is because if you're producing energy in the absence of oxygen, that's when you start to produce, uh, produce blood lactate. And when you get that blood lactate accumulating, that's when you start to get really stiff and your technique can also start to waver. When we hit the wall in running as well, what that basically is a result of is a depletion of our energy sources, so blood glycogen levels starting to reduce both in the liver and in the muscles. And they're incredibly crucial for us to sustain an activity without that sort of sense of fatigue as a runner. So the best ways to try and prevent it are first of all, trying to, to run efficiently. So by that I mean trying to run without overworking our muscles and by maintaining good alignment. If you go right back to one of our first videos, I talk about running in a sweet spot. So running in a sweet spot is using gravity to create movement. You'll see with most elite runners that they run with just a very slight forward leaning position. As we said before in a few previous videos, if you're in that leaning position, your centre of mass is in front of your contact point, your feet, and that means that you're creating movement forward using your body and you can start to relax your lower body. If you're too straight as a runner, as we've said before, that relies therefore on you creating movement from pushing and also shortening your muscles too much but also you overwork them so it requires more oxygen and therefore your heart rate and your breathing rate increases. It also increases your chances of having that accumulation of blood lactate. So as a runner it's really important to stay really aligned and create that movement using your body. Also most importantly we want to stop you from hitting the wall. So when you set off as a runner it's important to understand your body and not set off too fast. You want to create that movement in a way that you're still comfortably breathing with a relaxed breathing rate. If you start off too fast, that means you start to go too fast to supply enough oxygen to create that respiration. That's when people start to get tired really hard in a race, and that's when their technique starts to go. So they might run really fast for the first kilometer, but then for the last four kilometers, that's when they start to sink in the hips and the knees, their technique starts to waver, and their performance is reduced. that oxygen needed for that speed and then you can maintain a higher performance for a, an improved ability. There are ways of improving that as well from doing exercises that test your lactate threshold and that's your ability to perform before the onset of lactate and also um, doing things like fart leg training and interval training can also help to improve your ability to uptake that oxygen from your blood. So there are exercises that help you to increase your ability to do that. But importantly guys, making sure that we're creating that movement naturally using our body and staying nice and tall so we're not overworking our muscles is crucial for you guys to maintain that aerobic state and provide enough oxygen for your cells to respire efficiently. So if you start to sink as a runner guys, that's when you're going to start to get stiff, your technique wavers and that's when all the injuries can start to onset. So that's my tip for today guys, remember to stay efficient as a runner Create movement naturally using your body, not relying on your muscles, and that's going to help you in the long run both in creating speed and preventing that blood lactate accumulation. So this is Will from Riffrev. Check us out at www.riffrev.com. Thanks guys.